Hey, happy client check-in day. I hope you guys are doing really well and working on increasing your movement and getting ready for these EAAs. Guess what? I think that's what that is. <laughs> um, I am loving them. They're amazing. So being able to really reach our ultra health is going to require, actually there was a study done, that clients who reach their goals, if they don't increase their activity levels, are very likely to gain their weight back as well. Um, well, and the statistic on top of that is you're 500% more likely to reach and maintain your weight as a health coach. So that's even more um, vital. But I just want to share those things because it's something to think about. The identity is what I wanted to kind of talk about today is so important. And a lot of times we'll say things under our breath that maybe we're not consciously aware that we say like, I'm a foodie or I love frosting. I've said that one. <laughs> Or um, the things that we don't do. Oh, I don't do this. Or I'm not a water drinker. Okay. So I want you guys to really take time to be more consciously aware of the words that you say about yourself when it has anything to do with your health, healthy body, mind, or finances. And having more awareness, we can never change what we aren't aware of. It gives us power to be able to shift out of that and, and see it for what it is. And that it has a process for us. Like, we're not going to be good at everything. And actually, I was going to talk about, uh, I don't know if I can pull out three. I was thinking about it last night. But there's a couple things that really keep clients stuck. One, perfectionism. It's actually an immapro immature approach to life and everyone's immature. So don't, I mean, nobody's better than anybody else. But really, like, understanding that it's not something that actually makes you better. This all or nothing thinking it's holding, it's holding my clients back. It holds me back in different things. Like, and a lot of times we do that when it's tied into our identity that we make it mean something about us. So watch where you're finding that it's all or nothing and, and the indulgence. There's like a whole nother continuum. It doesn't have to be all or nothing. There's a continuum where you're creating and like shifting into that. And actually in the Habits of Health book, it is so dang good, you guys. If you haven't read it, read it. It's so good. And he, Dr. A says, there's a lot of times that people get started on their health journey because of a medical diagnosis or somebody telling you you should, like outside some people telling you, and or maybe that you don't like yourself or that you're feeling fat. So if that's in your story, I'm doing a webinar. Or it's just 10 20 like, I'm good. I'll do it in just a sec. Sorry. So if you... um have that happening if you do not shift from that place into what you're creating and what you're focusing on then you will go back to the other place and you can't move forward so really understanding these different pieces like which one is kind of speaking to you and we can only work on one thing at a time so it's like one step one step so i just wanted to kind of share my thoughts and ideas around this area um and kind of have that mindfulness around where you are and what identity do you have so you guys are amazing. I would love to chat with you. And this is the other thing, personal accountability. So I'm not the magic answer to anybody. I'm not the hero of your story. You are. And so one thing that we do is we are witnessing your accountability to yourself as a coach. That's my role. I don't have to know everything for you. I don't have to tell you what to do. That's not my job. I can help guide you to the resources and be a sounding board of what you're learning and I love doing that. Like it is such a joy to be able to talk to you guys and learn from you. I really am inspired by my clients all the time. So thank you. But I really do encourage you guys to really take time to make the commitment to yourself, not to me, to yourself, to check in once a week. And vocal, there is just something about the vulnerability of getting on a phone call, even if it's a two minute conversation. Um, usually they're five minutes. They're, it can be whatever you need. So Let's touch base vocally this week. I hope you guys are having a good one and let's, you know, get back to school, get started. If you guys are cooking for families, I have um, a webinar I did last night for that and I can share that, but they're not all like five in one compliant, but they're great for maintenance. So, or ultra help as you shift into that. So excited to chat with you. Let's set some goals together.